Alrighty, folks, welcome to Elon Musk Radio, the world's first online radio station, 100% dedicated to Elon Musk and the companies he runs. Elon Musk Radio was created for people who are too busy to read about Elon Musk. My name is John Lowe from down here in New Zealand. I am the founder of Elon Musk Radio. Now for the first 113 episodes, basically bots were presenting the episodes. Bots. And they've done a pretty good job. They've done a pretty good job. But I have decided now to switch Elon Musk or transition it over to, to a new format where it will be presented by humans from now on. Those bots are fired. Fired the bots. Now, I founded Elon Musk Radio basically with the intended goal or purpose of getting to the point as soon as possible where we can have a 24-hour live stream on YouTube that is basically just full of interviews like interviewing experts and guests about Elon Musk and his companies about what he's up to uh, also will be full of just the latest news and speculation analysis about Elon Musk and the incredibly incredibly fascinating companies that he runs okay Thank you very much for joining me. Let's just have a quick look at the real-time YouTube analytics. I'm going to be completely open and transparent at Elon Musk Radio. Basically, you will see whatever is on my computer screen. Okay, so YouTube real-time analytics. This is something I find very, very interesting and fascinating to watch. As you can see, we have had 487 views in the last 48 hours. So not too many, not too many. And 14 views in the last 60 minutes. As I said, up till now, the episodes were presented or narrated, if you like, by computer bots, basically. Now, they were realistic sounding, sounded like humans, but people could still tell that they were bots. And I think that puts a lot of people off, really. Like they would go to Elon Musk Radio, go to an episode of Elon Musk Radio, and they would hear the bot, and quite often they would probably just exit the video straight away. And, of course, the YouTube algorithm would have picked up on that. And that's perhaps why our channel isn't doing as well as it could have. I mean, as I said, we've done... This is episode 114 of elon musk radio and you can see the real-time analytics we're, we're, we're getting some views coming in but it's certainly nowhere near the level that i want elon musk radio to be at okay i want to be basically having thousands of views every hour every 60 minutes so stick with us you will i will give you an update each episode on these real-time analytics and you will see our progress let's try and get youtube uh let's try and get the views up to up to a thousand an hour let's make that our first goal okay so we've got a long way to go we're only at 14 views in the last 60 minutes uh we've got 203 subscribers so that's pretty good <clears throat> i mean it's to be expected a youtube channel that is just dedicated solely to elon musk and the companies that he runs is going to attract some interest okay it's i i think it's a good idea for a youtube channel or for an online radio station and uh yeah it's 203 subscribers that's pretty good i'm pretty happy with that but of course it's just a drop in the bucket of where we want to be so if you haven't subscribed be sure to subscribe to elon musk radio hit that subscribe button <clears throat> Okay, guys, so I'm just going to head over to the Elon Musk Radio Twitter. Sorry, I don't know what that is. Uh, you've got to be kidding me. Righty. I just want to start off by doing a shout-out. Well, the first first 
channel or first Twitter account I can do a shout out to is All Things Tesla. That's an awesome picture. Is that like a McDonald's? No, it's not a McDonald's flurry. McFlurry. It looks similar to it. It's a very colourful dessert ice cream looking thing. Cold Stone, maybe Cold Store or Cold Stone ice cream. That was uh, retweeted by All Things Tesla. This is just a new account I've started following. And yeah, I think the the name of his Twitter account is pretty self-explanatory. All Things Tesla. And um, yeah, I've, I've already been uh, dialoguing or corresponding or communicating, interacting with his tweets a little bit. And I um, highly recommend you check him out. All Things Tesla on Twitter. Big shout out to him. And next shout out I'm going to do to is to the Doge Bird. This, I think the Doge Bird was one of the very first uh, Twitter accounts that I, that I started following with Elon Musk Radio. And he is just a very friendly, a very friendly fella. I highly recommend you follow the Doge Bird. He uh, just has an incredible attitude very very uh kind helpful funny clever smart so yeah i recommend you check out the doge bird on twitter i see here he has got a website let me just check that out the dogebird.com i haven't i haven't seen that before click on that what do we got so the dogebird.com at the moment is just redirecting back to twitter.com forward slash the doge bird so he obviously doesn't have a website created for that yet but perhaps he will in the future but anyway go and check him out the doge bird another shout out i want to give is to strength plan this guy is another very friendly awesome guy one of the first people that i met through elon musk radio on twitter he is a investor in Tesla. He owns shares in Tesla. And he just basically just gives tweets that provide some very helpful insight and analysis regarding Tesla stock. So I'm always interested to read what uh, his little tweets or updates regarding Tesla stock. Uh, advice about investing in Tesla. I don't think he would consider himself to be a financial expert as such. So he's not necessarily giving financial advice, but it's just his personal analysis or speculation regarding Tesla. And he highly recommends um, basically, yeah, investing in Tesla. And now is probably a pretty good time really to, to buy Tesla as we've recently had a dip in the price so it's probably a bit of a bargain price at the moment i think it's trading around about the 700 dollar u the 700 us dollar mark so potentially it could it could skyrocket to many many times higher than that just with all the future stuff that they've got in the pipeline with full self-driving and the optimus tesla bot so the price of Tesla could potentially go much, much higher. And uh, yeah, as you can see, a recent tweet there by Strength Plan where he's uh, posted that picture. So basically, that's that's quite cool. When the price was $1,220, everybody was lining up to buy Tesla. Now that it's dipped down to 685 nobody is after it. So that really just is a bit of a uh, metaphor or a analogy regarding human nature when things are expensive the everybody wants it everybody's after it as soon as it drops down then people are like oh why is it why is it so cheap it mustn't be good and uh, then that of course f causes the price to go down further but hey look if, if you can see the long-term vision of Tesla then you will know that it is wise to buy it now when it's down at that very low price 
around about the $700 mark. Grab it now because I don't think it's going to stick around there for long. Uh, another person I want to give a shout out to is, let me just open her account, Lady Zebedee plus Doge, another Twitter user that I've been following. And uh, she, she's just a very nice, uh, friendly lady that is a fan of Elon Musk, a fan, fan of Dogecoin. And yeah, I really enjoy reading her tweets. Um, she got a certain sense of humor or yeah a sense of humor regarding things that are going on out there in the world and uh yeah it's always just cool to read her tweets so this is i think oh this this is a pinned tweet it says i'd be dead by now if i didn't have a flame in there mine is like a whirlwind not sure if i created it but it's there and sometimes needs recharging, that's when you focus on something else rather than dwell on what you can't control. So that's pretty cool. Yep, that's some uh, good advice there. I call her Lady Z rather than Lady Zebedee. Uh, it's just sort of a nickname I've created for her, so I hope she doesn't mind. But yeah, go check her out at Tears in the Rain 1 on Twitter. And I think we will just have a little look at some headlines regarding Elon Musk. Use the old Google News and we will just have a look at some recent headlines. Okay, so Elon Musk and Twitter, why bots could bring down the $44 million deal. Okay, um, yeah, pretty sure it's a $44 billion deal. So USA Today may uh, potentially have got that one a little bit wrong. Perhaps just a typo. Elon Musk and Tesla sued over the Dogecoin pyramid scheme. That was from two weeks ago. Is anything more recent? Okay, so we can actually get some more recent things if we just sort the results by date. And uh, yeah... Elon Musk is missing. Fears soar for SpaceX CEO as social media count goes silent. Okay, let me just go back to Twitter and just uh, have a search up Elon Musk on Twitter and go to his tweets and replies. So we've got a pinned tweet there from May the 25th. And... Oh, okay, so yes, they are correct. The last time that he tweeted seems to be back on June the 22nd. We're June the 30th now. Uh, first day, June the 30th. I, of course, am presenting Elon Musk Radio from New Zealand, so we are a bit ahead in time in the rest of the world. So, yeah, basically about seven or eight days since he last tweeted. Now, my suspicion would be that Elon Musk is just under a tremendous amount of pressure. I mean, that just goes without saying. He, he is running Tesla and SpaceX, you know, two revolutionary companies that are revolutionizing, basically, the space industry, privatizing it making us an interplanetary species. And he is also, with Tesla, revolutionizing our transition to sustainable energy. And I know he's under a, a tremendous a lot, a tremendous amount of pressure with Tesla. Um, one of the recent episodes you can see here on Elon Musk Radio it's titled, Elon Musk is worried about Tesla going bankrupt, okay? And that is basically due, let me just read the description. It says, Tesla faces billions of dollars in losses from its new plants, okay? So that's talking about the plants, um, the gigafactories in Berlin, Germany, and also in Austin, Te Austin Texas, okay? He... In a recent interview with the Tesla owners of Silicon Valley, Elon Musk said that 
both of those gigafactories are burning through billions of dollars, okay? And he put that down to supply chain issues. The world is, at the moment, experiencing a lot of supply chain issues. And Tesla, of course, being a manuf manufacturing company, manufacturing electric vehicles, they are heavily dependent on, well, it would be thousands and thousands of different parts used to make the Teslas. So you could see why if there was supply chain disruptions globally, that would be an incredible headache for Elon Musk and for Tesla. And so, yeah, he he mentioned the possibility of bankruptcy during that interview with the Tesla owners of Silicon Valley. And I would say that that is one of the that is one of the perhaps reasons why we're not hearing from Elon Musk at the moment is he is just under a tremendous amount of pressure with Tesla just trying to keep it from going bankrupt basically and so yes that's what's happening with Gigafactory Austin and Gigafactory uh, Berlin Giga Berlin is that they are losing a lot of money because they just cannot get the output of Tesla vehicles to the level where it is generating enough revenue and that is because of the supply chain is issues mainly and I'm sure many other factors it would it would just be it's just hard to imagine um, the the just the sheer gravity of the pressure that Elon Musk would be under with Tesla now that it has sort of got gotten to the size that it is trying to keep up with demand globally and then of course if you think about Tesla um, over in Shanghai the gigafactory in China he's also under a lot of pressure there I know that China has been, um, because of COVID, has been locking down, doing lockdowns, and that, that has been a massive disruption. I think it's sort of back up and running at a good level at the moment. But yeah, he has experienced a lot of, a lot of uh, stress over in Shanghai simply because, well, the workers weren't allowed to go to work. They were locked down because of um, COVID's China's COVID lockdown policy. So yeah, basically I would I would speculate that we haven't heard from Elon Musk because he is just, yeah, he's under a tremendous amount of pressure, probably with Tesla mostly, but then also with SpaceX and their attempted first orbital, uh, their, their attempted first launch of the starship into orbit and that of course is at the moment waiting for approval from the FAA um, and hopefully we'll be doing the first launch into orbit next month but again the FAA has done a whole lot of conditions that they want SpaceX at Starbase in Boca Chica, Texas to fix up regarding the environmental impact that Starship's launches are going to have on the surrounding environment. There's, they've, they've come back to, they've done a review, come back to SpaceX with a whole lot of things that they basically want um, SpaceX to do I think one of them is like donating five thousand dollars to a, a local environmental charity just things like that how they're gonna clean up the the pol pollution or the uh, the remnants of that comes from the launch just things like that so that that's another area where Elon Musk is probably under a lot of pressure is with SpaceX Starship getting ready for its debut 
attempt at launching the both the SpaceX Starship and also the Super Heavy booster into orbit for the very first time. Then, of course, Elon Musk also would be under pressure with the Twitter deal, the attempted acquisition of Twitter for $44 billion. No doubt there is many, many things that, you know, behind the scenes that the public isn't aware of that Elon Musk is is having to deal with and include in his already astronomically busy schedule in terms of making sure that this acquisition of Twitter for $44 billion goes smoothly. So yeah, so we haven't heard from Elon Musk for approximately seven or eight days. Don't panic. I believe that, I believe he'll be fine but he's just under a lot of pressure with Tesla, SpaceX, and the acquisition of Twitter. Not to mention his other companies, Neuralink, and the Boring Company. The Boring Company. Okay, guys, I think we're going to leave it there for now for this first episode of Elon Musk Radio being presented by a human. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments section below. Oh yes, and also we do have a Patreon. I've set up a Patreon. Let me just open that up for Elon Musk Radio. And we we have one patron, so we're getting seven US dollars a month at the moment. I currently have to go to a full time ah uh, sorry, to a job every night, uh, basically an Uber Eats type job where I do deliveries in the evening. But I really want to get Elon Musk Radio to the point where it is a 24-hour live stream. And it would be awesome if I could not have to go to that Uber Eats job every night. At the moment, I go there seven nights a week. And um, yes, it would be fantastic if I could just focus solely on Elon Musk Radio. And that's why I've created this Patreon, which is patreon.com forward slash Elon Musk Radio. So feel free um, to sign on there as a patron and just just give whatever you could afford to Elon Musk Radio to help fund it and turn it into a full-on 24-hour live stream where we've got different hosts. You don't just want to hear from me. And we're interviewing guests on Skype from all around the world. And the latest news and developments regarding Elon Musk and the companies that he runs. So if you could afford to give a little bit uh, each month to Elon Musk Radio, that would be incredible, even if it's, I don't know what the minimum amount is. Excuse me. But uh, yeah, so check that out, patreon.com forward slash Elon Musk Radio. That would be incredible if you could help us out over there. And I think we will end the episode there. Uh, Let me just get the exciting Elon Musk radio music back on. Uh, Whereabouts has that gone? Hang on. Has it gone off? Let me see. It's called Hitman Looping. That is our theme music. There we go. Hitman Looping. Oh, did I mute that? No. Why does that keep muting? Uh, Let me just see. So I would have bought it. There we go. Okay, so let's end Elon Musk music. Elon Musk radio with some exciting music. And it's disappeared. That's all good. You're just going to have to bear with me. I am still getting used to this new format where you can basically see whatever is on my screen. Thank you so much for joining us at Elon Musk radio. Don't forget to subscribe. My name is John Lowe from New Zealand. Have a lovely day.